Welcome back, standing here with head coach Jay Corsi and coach, obviously not the start that you wanted against Widener. The story of the game obviously was turnover. What weaknesses was Widener taking advantage of that night? Well, we didn't have film because it's a new coaching staff defensively, so we had no idea what they were going to do. And they came out and did a ton of zone blitz and some different blitzes. And again, that's not something we covered because we didn't know. Um, so, you know, we tried to cover it, but it didn't work. Um, I think Billy forced some balls. I think they gave us some looks that caused us some trouble. Um, but again, I think it comes down to running the football. We had a hard time running the football and accounting for players in the box. So I think it was a combination of a couple things, and we've worked on those things this week. Now the defense, they came up big the entire game, only allowing 13 points, uh, three turnover on downs, and the field goal block. How important was it for the defense to step up whenever the offense was going through a little bit of the hiccups? Yeah, they did a great job. You know, anytime you have seven turnovers, and you're still in the game in the fourth quarter to possibly tie or win, it's, that's amazing. And uh, our defense did a great job. They, they thwarted them when we turned it over a couple times in our end. Um, they stiffened. They didn't really let Widener do much in the second half. They only really gave up 13 points. The other one was a pick six, so we gave that up offensively. But again, you know, we knew our defense was going to be really good, and they were on, on Friday night. It's just, you know, we got to you know, get the offense going a little bit. So we'll change some things up and see how it goes. Now you had a similar start last year, losing the first game to Del Val. The only difference between that is you didn't have to go on the road for three games and then a bye thrown in there. What do you tell the kids knowing that they're not going to be able to play on this field for for almost a month? Well, you don't, you know, you don't really control that. I mean, our out of conference schedule is tough enough against three essentially playoff teams. Um, you know, it's the only way we could juggle the schedule to keep Wesley. Um, so, you know, sometimes you don't have that control. Again, I, I thought we'd find out a lot about ourselves. We'll find out a lot about who we are, what we're made of. And again, we'll just have to keep fighting through it and see what happens. But um, it'll be a good test for us. Sometimes away games um, are a uh, give you an opportunity to bond with the players and get to know them a little bit and work through some things. And again, sometimes that just occurs. So. Um, you know, we just have to take it as best we can. I, I know our, our, our auto conference schedule, though, is going to help us with the conference play. So, you know, that's just the way it is. All right, Coach, thank you and good luck. You're very welcome. Thanks. All right, we're here with defensive lineman senior Chris Alvarez. And, Chris, defense came up huge on Friday night. Uh, you didn't get the, the takeaways. You got the, the three turnover on downs. Just talk about how clutch that was to be able to get the offense back out on the field. It was, honestly, I thought it was going to be a turning point of the game and get us to score and win, but obviously it didn't come out that way. But we ha we did our job and what we had to do to make the team successful in that particular moment. So, now, I know it was, a, it was a struggle on the offensive side of the ball, uh, six, seven turnovers. And being on the sideline, is that a little bit frustrating, or do you take that as another moment of, okay, let's go out there and let's let's see what we can do? I'm not gonna lie, in the beginning I was like, wow. But after a while, it just says like, we're gonna do our job, we're gonna go out there, and we're gonna shut them out. We had so much we had so much uh, pride in our own selves of what we can do and shut them down that we didn't look at it coming out there frustrated or anything like that. We came out there like, we're gonna shut you down and get our offense back the ball and see what they could do with it. What are we gonna see offensively from Framingham State? I think the way we've been practicing the past two days, I think our offense is gonna come out firing. I think our defense is gonna come out lights out. And we have a passion and we're burning and I don't know, like I'm, I can't wait to play and get this one off our backs and focus in on framing him and just unleash all the anger and frustration we have right now toward them. All right, Chris, thanks and good luck. No, thank you very much. Standing here now with quarterback Bill McCarty and Bill, uh, being an athlete, obviously you're going to go through some tough times like as a pitcher, quarterback, any time that they always say shake it off. How'd you shake off Friday? Um, Honestly, I just uh, got to have a, uh, you know, a type of mindset where, you know, you you learn from it, but you forget it. And um, I think in football, you know, I played for a long time since I was a kid. And if I harped on every single thing I did wrong in my past, then I really wouldn't be where I'm at today. So, you know, you, you live from, you, you learn from it, you live with it, and you move on. 
going through the entire game, three full quarters weren't able to get into the end zone, but the spirits were still high. You could tell on the sideline. What were you telling the guys in the huddle? You know, I got your back. What, were, what, were, what was going through your mind? What was going through their minds? Um, I think everyone was on the same page with, all right, some stuff isn't working out for us right now, but um, I just kept coming off saying, hey, guys, let's go. We got to get back on the field. We're going to have to go back out there. So we got to keep working hard, work hard up front. Um, I tried doing the best I could in the backfield, and they, they knew it. But, uh, you know, sometimes stuff doesn't always go your way. And in those three quarters, you know, we were up, you know, we were really going, uh, doing well on defense. And uh, we had the defenses back. We were trying to do everything we could. But um, we thought the defense did great. And uh, only holding them to 13 points in four quarters of football is a great, great thing. So uh, we got to hold up on our end. What is the key to having the bounce back game this Saturday against Framingham State? Uh, it's, a, it's a key game, but um, like any other game, it's, it's one game at a time. You learn from last week, uh, this is the most important game of the year now. And then the next game will be the most important game of the year. Um, so I just, it's a big bounce back game, but at the same time, we learned from last week and uh, we should go out there and just be able to do our thing. All right, Bill, thanks and good luck. Thank you.